hello everyone janet live video i hope you can hear me let me know if you can hear me i'll be happy to see you okay but thank you so much for coming to our live session today this is about the j1 j2 visas i just finished a video on my desktop and i hope some of you you saw me if you didn't i said i'm not gonna take a chance the reason i went on the desktop was to help you to see the websites that you need to know about I did this so you can see the websites and the links and the jobs and the sponsors, but it hasn't posted yet. I didn't interact with any of you, so I don't know if it worked. So that's why today I'm in my room because this is where my desktop is. So if you leave comments, I'll be able to see if you can hear me or not. But um, if I don't hear anything, I think that will be okay. It means you can see me, all right? Jackson is watching from Qatar. Thank you so much for coming. The reason I'm here today is I was doing a video on my desktop. So I'm going to do this so that many of you, you don't miss out. I promise to do a J1 visa for work opportunities. Many people have been asking me. Okay. Many people have been asking me about this. And I say today I'll just tackle it. And um, thank you for coming. Thank you for going on YouTube. Okay, this is going to be a little bit different from me. I'm used to having my regular place where I do my videos, but this is different. But we're going to sail through. We're going to sail through. This is different, but we're going to sail through. The reason I'm here again is because I wanted to work on my desktop. All of you, thank you so much for coming. J1, J2 visas. Wherever you are watching from, thank you so much today. J1, J2 visas. These are underutilized. I was doing my research and I came across information saying 300, Edwin, thank you for telling me everything is okay. 300,000 visas are offered each year in the United States on J1. Our followers right here, I have some that are on J1 visas. And you know, if you've watched me many times, I always say, uh, J1 visa, I'm not sure about this. J1 because it's 12 months. But if you come on 12 months, you can extend to two years. So I always feel like it's very restrictive. But you know what? After I changing my mind, after I changing my mind because of a few reasons, I have followers that tell me, Janet, it's very expensive. It's very expensive to come on a student visa. First of all, the application fees, the process, everything is just hard. So I said, you know what? I'm going to let me see a few people coming yeah yeah okay all right i'm gonna give you time to come i don't want people to miss because they've been waiting for this video for a long long time yeah okay people are watching from doha yes especially people from there you've been asking for this video for a long time okay all right so j1 visa let's talk about j1 visa and by the way j2 for spouse and children J1 for the applicant, J2 for spouse and children. Oh, okay. Wow, there we go. North Carolina. Gladwell came on J1. Finally. You know, I like when people give this testimonials because we know that these are real things. These are not guesswork. Okay, we need to know that this is not guesswork. This is real. Huh? Who is that? Thank you for sharing all the way from North Carolina to tell us everything is okay hi janet okay thank you so much all right so we need to know j1 j2 j1 is an exchange program it was started in 1961 it was meant for exchange information foreigners come here exchange the information and take it back home okay that is why it was designed j1 was designed for exchange programs now, yes, it's a working visa. When you come here, you'll be able to work. Okay? I hope you're on the same page. You'll be able to work on J-1 visa. How does it work? The reason I'm here, for those of you who are coming, welcome. The reason I'm here, I'm in my room today. I worked on my desktop and I've done a live video, which I think most of you did not see. But I'm hoping that Facebook will post it. It looks strange. It's too bright for me. I feel too bright. I wish I could get some dark light somewhere here. You know, I feel like this is too bright on my face. It's kind of messing my video, but we're going to sail through today, okay? Anyway, 
J1 visa US State Department. I will post the links after this video. I'm going to post for you the links. What will you see? You will see the process. The first thing you do is to go to the State Department and identify a sponsor. They have sponsors, okay? J1 comes in many, many categories. Let me mention a few categories. J1, teachers, interns, student interns, researchers, au pair where you come to do, give child care, and old people, you take care of them, okay? We have camp, camp counselors. We have the hospitality industry. If you want to be a cook, okay? If you want to be a chef, if you want to be a laundry manager, if you want to be in housekeeping, okay? So the good thing with J1 visa, we are not just talking about professors or people who are very educated. We are talking about everyone. Even if you don't have some education, maybe you have a certificate program. But at least, even if you don't have a certificate program, you have good English and you have work experience in a hotel, in the hotel industry, okay? All those people, we are talking about opportunities on J1 visa. Find a sponsor. Where are these sponsors, Janet? You keep on telling us sponsors. You keep on telling. You go to the U.S. State Department. I'm going to post the link. Okay? I'll post the link. You will see sponsors in there. Listen. Not hundreds. You will see them in the thousands. And these sponsors are universities. Okay? They have programs for students for interns we know that student visa is very expensive no but this one now you're coming to work you're coming to exchange information you're coming for training okay you're coming to get paid all right as you go you learn you're going to see links that have thousands people know this but they just don't share okay there are many many links you will find sponsors universities You'll find people that have au pair programs. You'll find sponsors for camp counselors. You'll find sponsors for teachers. You'll find sponsors for professors. You'll find sponsors for scholars for every country that participates in this world, including your country. You will see people that bring people from your country. Okay? I will post the link. Okay? Abu, let me tell you, the State Department will never be a scam okay the u.s state department will never be a scam okay if you come on this page we don't like evil spirits this is serious information for my followers if you are not interested abu leave this is serious this page is saving people people are having money people are coming here and succeeding people are getting scholarships tell me what is wrong about that you scammer leave this page okay i'm not in a good mood abu so leave this page Okay, otherwise we will tell you bad things that you've never heard. All right? You are not going to disturb my people who are changing their lives. You come and tell a mother who got a scholarship, a child is doing medicine, and tell me what kind of scam it is. Shame on you. Okay? Shame on you for coming on this page with your hatred. You, sh you need to go away. You have no shame for the young people that are struggling with joblessness. What are you doing to help them? What are you doing to help the jobless? Stop bringing your big mouth if you are not making a difference in society. Or block yourself off Facebook because you do not deserve to be here. Okay? J1 visas, my friends, my followers, it will save you. If you are jobless, J1 visa, State Department is real. The U.S. State Department is real and it will post the links to the sponsors. The universities that provide this sponsorship. Okay, the teaching jobs, you will see them, I will post them here. Okay, some of this inf information, it exists. Yes, we are going to block him, George. In fact, George, block him for me. Disappear, we don't need you here. All the haters, go away. We want success. Yeah, we're going to block that, those nonsense, stupid people here. Okay, we don't, we, I'm sick and tired of these ones. They have no contribution in this earth. All they come here is to come and disturb peace. Why are you coming to disturb peace on our page? Why don't you go start your own page for your nonsense? You can't even get yourself 50 followers. Excuse me. You try what I do and let's see how you, you how far you will go. Okay? All right. One of my followers says, Janet, please ignore. Thank you. I'm going <sighs> to... Okay? All right. Let's come back. Let's come back. Okay? I told you, 
He got me in a bad mood today. Okay, thank you. Who is that? Dan Ivan is calm down. <sighs> okay, all right. We're gonna calm down. Okay, J1 visa. Okay, let's start. J1 visa for those who are interested in finding a job or an exchange program. It's real US State Department. I'll post the links. You go and check out all those opportunities in the thousands. In fact, some of the universities I know them, they are very close to me. Okay, it's for everyone. For everyone, for those who are looking for jobs, those who are coming to, to study, okay? And those people who are looking for opportunities they can't find, including those who have a travel ban. Because a travel ban is for those green cards. They stop people from getting green cards. But now, you can come using other means, okay? Now, after that, some of them, by the way, some of them, Marriott Hotels. As we speak, I have a follower who is there, okay? Now you want real examples. If you go to Marriott Hotels, they have many, many, many hotels that fall under that. In that other video, okay, I mentioned the names. Okay, Marriott, there's Westin, there's Real Carlton, there's uh, many of them. Okay, and if you go there again, they post like, they were posting jobs, I was just looking, there were like 800 jobs. Housekeeping is there, laundry manager is there, engineering is there, okay, front desk clerk is there. Okay, all right, Julius, I'm gonna breathe, breathe out. I'm breathing out, okay? I'm gonna post the links, and m many of you, you know me, this is not my natural setting. I have too much light shining on my face here, okay? And some people are bringing some nonsense to me, so I'm not in my normal, relaxed mood, okay? But today, the reason I came to this room today was to share the websites. Because the live video I did was actually going page by page and showing you exactly what we are supposed to do okay we are going to start with the state department okay that is the first step the state department explains to you the steps that you need to do to get the j1 visa and that includes and i know the most difficult part is getting a sponsor okay but we are going to line up the sponsors on this page when we go to the state department we are going to identify what kind of cultural exchange program we want and I'm talking as you speak. Tell them one of my followers right here is in North Carolina on J1. I was telling another one. I said, my friends, this is one of those visas if the embassy sees it gives. Because they, they, they usually, many people don't take advantage of this. Okay? So many people don't take advantage. So why not us? And if you're coming in, let JanetRangi.com. You'll always find my videos. Learn, learn, learn. The whole world knows these things. They are making use of them. I'm here to bring out public information things that people didn't tell you they exist they are real they will tell you find a sponsor identify the j1 visa you want after that contact the sponsor okay once you contact the sponsor some sponsors might ask okay for application fees keep that in mind so long as you find that sponsor on the u.s state department they are real they are not fake okay that is how you know whether you're getting a real person or not one of my followers yes he had to pay someone to process for them the J-1 visa. So I'm just telling you so you know that it exists out there, okay? But be careful, of course, as always. But if you go through the right website, the state department, these people are for real. So first thing, you will identify a sponsor. Second, you contact the sponsor. You tell them you're interested in J-1 visa. And then they will process for you. Some of them will want you to find jobs. That's why I'm posting the links for the jobs, okay i'm gonna post the links for the jobs so you go there identify the job yourself and if you can the university will help you find if it doesn't you can do it yourself or you go to the sponsors for example the universities are many my friend you cannot believe how many universities will be on this list sponsoring j1 many 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 will sponsor you on j1 for a job as an intern okay some places will bring you as camp counselors some of them will bring you as interns some of them will bring you as uh, teachers some of them will bring you as au pair so many like thousands my friends these are not dreams they are real i'm encouraging you because why my followers some of them have tried green card they've not succeeded those who succeeded congratulations some i want student visa but it's very very expensive so they're gonna try j1 okay j1 the good news is you're coming to work you don't have to produce fees as you know if you followed me this has not been my favorite visa 
but I'm changing my mind. I'm beginning to change my mind about this visa. So having said that, why was it not my favorite visa? You need to understand before you sign those papers, J1 visa has something called, pay attention, J1 visa has something called home residency requirement. Home residency requirement means if they give you a J1 to come and work here as an intern for one year, okay, which by the way, you can extend to two years, you can always extend it to two years. After that, they expect you to go back home for another two years physically, take back what you learned. That is just how it was designed. Cultural exchange is for you to learn. They learn from you the country's exchange. However, there is a waiver. However, there is a waiver in this J1 program. How? Okay. There are several things that some people can qualify. For example, if you come here, let's say, and you get pregnant, or you are married to a U.S. citizen, and time for you to go back home comes, you can file hardship and say that it can't be separation. I don't want to separate from my spouse. No. Maybe it's because it's you who is providing for them food. You see? So that is hardship. You are the one who is working. Or maybe one of your family members is disabled. You cannot. Okay? Another reason is, let's say you, this is for, like, I don't know who is listening. Sometimes doctors, they go and they work in places that they have shortages, okay? They, that place can write a letter and say, hey, we need this guy. Another one is your own country, okay? If you come from Kenya, Kenya has to write a letter to the State Department saying, it's okay, no objection, let that person stay in America, we don't need them back home, okay? That is another one. You can always apply for these things. Another one is persecution, if you fear to be persecuted because of your race or your political opinions or your religion, there's a form you can file again with USCIS. Okay, it's not the asylum form, it's different. And that's why I'm in this room today. I had all these forms lined up for you so you can see. But I'll try and post the links here today. So what are we saying? Yes, pay attention to J1. And by the way, when you come on J1, like Fulbright scholarships, or you come on J1 and the U.S. government has sponsored you, or you come here and your country has sponsored you, okay? You need, that one will be hard because they gave you their money, you signed information that you'll go back. They will make sure you go back. You understand? But if not, talk to your, whoever your sponsor is. Let them tell you the terms and conditions for your J1 visa, okay? I understand them very well. Some people, I don't know, they might come here and instead of going home, they go back to Canada. But that means you can't come here because you have to fulfill your requirements where your passport brought you from. Okay? You have to, after you finish, you have to go back where your passport brought you from, stay there for two years, apply your cultural exchange information, then you can come back. You understand the difference? Okay, my friend. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, all of you. Yeah, how about job opportunities for pharmacists for Nigeria? Pharmacists always, you have to, by the way, these days you have to do PharmD. That's a video for another day. PharmD these days, those days pharmacists used to do, I think, four years. These days they expect you to have a doctorate, okay? But that's a video for another day. Isabella is like sponsorship. That's what they, this video is about sponsors. By the way, when I will post those links, the people will go, they will see, I didn't say hundreds. I didn't say hundreds of opportunities. They will see thousands. Thousands. Can I change J1 visa to a student visa while in the US? Donald, how are you? That is a good question and I expect many of you and that's exactly what I've been talking about. The J1 visa was designed as a cultural exchange visiting visa, as a cultural exchange work visa, you bring what you have, they learn, you take back what you learn. So, there is a home requirement for two years. You cannot change status. When you come on J1, which is 12 months, you can extend to two years. You cannot change status. However, there is a waiver. If you want to change status, yes, you can. After you meet the stipulations I was just explaining, that was a good question. It seems some of you did not understand. I hope now you understand. Can you come here on J1 visa and change? You can only change if they approve your waiver. Am I, are we on the same page? I hope you're on the same page. 
you are supposed to go back home for two years if you don't want to go back home you have to apply for a waiver and i just went through a few things that you can do okay a few things that you can qualify for hardship family married to an american citizen you have hardship persecution okay you say you if i go back my race my religion my political opinions i might lose my life or you you are serving with a government organization they say no we need this person or, or, or donald uganda says it's okay let him stay there for now we probably don't need him we have more young men who will help us okay so those are some of the things that you need to do okay so it's not like you have to go back but for you to stay here legally and change your status you'll have to jump that hoop you either go back home for two years if you don't go back for two years you have to apply for a waiver once it approved yes you can change your status are we on the same page donald said good i think now he understands so now many of you have been asking about j1 visa today you have information about j1 visas i love this because sometimes these things are on the public domain but people don't know about them and i'm glad to bring this for you to see why is janet all of a sudden trying to like j1 visa because i know that all of us will not win green cards some of us are even on travel bans our countries do not qualify for green cards some of us we do not have enough money to apply for other kinds of visas so why not come on a working visa especially if you're jobless especially if it's gonna open for you more opportunities to meet new people to meet new challenges and live with the american experience why not okay so that's why janet is beginning to advocate for a j1 visa to all of us so we understand how it works okay and i'm going to give you a list of hotels i'm going to give you the websites that you'll find thousands of sponsors that include universities that include businesses that include private sector that they offer jobs through the j1 i will pro below this for those who are new on this page if i promise links you go up here after this video i'll go up here and i'll post the links okay are we on the same page i'll go up here and i'll post all those links i promised for you go dig one year from now i'll just be hearing stories okay i have a visa visitor visa expiring in 2023 i have to apply for a j1 visa if i get a job no but watch janet rangi for many many i can see why this page is very useful okay j1 visa is not a working visa it's just one of the visas if you are under you qualify for work f1 you qualify for work visiting visa no you have to ask for a work permit through green card okay or change it to student visa if you change to j1 i don't know how that will work you can i wouldn't do that but you can yeah you can okay i guess you can if that was your your question i wouldn't do that if i'm on a visiting visa that's why you follow janet i've done so many videos here if i was on a visiting visa and i fear political persecution or i fear racial persecution or i belong in a group that our lives are in danger i'll probably file for asylum and if i don't hear from them after 150 days i will put in a work permit that one they will respond and i'll know i'm legal until the day they will respond i've done videos on that we don't know if they will approve it or not but all these things is uscis.gov if i was on a student you know, visiting visa and i have a problem with persecution i'll probably apply for asylum form i589 i believe that is the form you apply free of charge i will probably seek opportunities in education that means i go to a university or a college community college that is cv is approved ask for i20 meet all the application requirements for a student get an i20 and ask for a change of status from visiting to student f1 here in the united states or alternatively some schools will tell you to go back home if i have family and friends in canada i will explore that go and live in canada you know like those are your options 
If you fall in love, you marry an American citizen, you get a green card. Are we on the same page? Those are your options. Okay? And I've done a video on this. I've done a video on this. As always, if you're in doubt, immigration lawyer is your best resource. Janet is a blogger. Janet is a vlogger. I read. I've experienced it. I bring to you, so I break it down. So it doesn't look like it's a dream. Every day I do that video, you've seen. Like today, you've already seen one saying, Janet, I'm here, J1 visa in North Carolina. Did you see? One of my followers. Next time you see this video, you will see someone say, Janet, I got a scholarship. You keep on following. You Next time, Janet, I'm on a green card. I'm here. Janet, I passed the NCLEX. Janet, I'm here in college. Thank you. Those are the kinds of people we see on this page. Real people solving problems. Real people believing in themselves and doing what it takes. Is it easy? No. Okay. So that is what we do on this page. So today, J1, J2, for those who've been asking me and you've been wanting to do it, I'll post all the links. You will not even finish. You need bundles. You need internet. It's a lot of information. Many, many, many universities, many sponsors, lists, every state, many. As I said at the beginning, if I didn't say 330 or 300,000 People come on J1 visa every day. And I said, mm, if you're jobless, explore this one. And you don't have money to pay your fees, tuition, you tell me, Janet, student visa is very expensive. And this one is bringing you on a job. Why not? And the jobs I've seen many, the economy in America is booming. Right now, employers are desperate. They are so desperate to the point I hear they are now even when they ha they do, they have enough workers usually they don't even give opportunities to people who had previous convictions criminal convictions but now they are even opening up that they are like you know what what can we do the economy is booming okay I'll be honest with you and they need workers so they just need people to work. I will share with you a story. I will not say where, but I went to a hotel, one of the hotels in my neighborhood somewhere here. I swear that I'm used to going for breakfast after the hotel in a few minutes. Oh, how can we help you? I'm not lying to you. I waited for 45 minutes before someone spoke to me. And when they spoke to me, it took them another one now. And you know who brought for me breakfast? The cook, but it was good. It was worth it. The cook was very nice. Okay, he brought, he brought for me hot eggs and everything. It was good. But I was looking across. People had given up. I looked at the tables. The plates were just hanging there. No one to clean the plates, which I have not seen. There were spoons everywhere. Like almost 15 tables around me. No one had come to clean them. Like there was no one to come and do. And usually, this country, that is unusual. They are very good at what they do. And I could just tell that it's, be, it's not because they don't have money. It's because they don't have anyone to do that job. They are just trying their best. I'm telling you, I saw that with my own eyes. And I knew it's because they don't have anyone to do it. Okay? Housekeeping. You know, you go there. You can't even ask anyone for towels. Because there's just no one to do it. Okay? So, these are real things that me have seen with my own eyes. And if there are legal ways for us to take care of this okay um then you know we just have to do our best okay all right so did you understand what j1 visa means that's why i'm in this room today i wanted to come here and post the link you would have seen it was pretty i have all my websites out i had this u.s state department and then they guide you on how to apply and then they tell you click here for the sponsors and then voila the list comes out of thousands of sponsors and then i go and then i look at the hotels that need people so basically you need a job okay that job you can find someone to help you sponsor so i gave even i'll give even websites that sponsor some of them will connect you to jobs and some of them will tell you okay do you have a job yes give us that this money we file for you j1 visa are we understanding the difference?
okay some you'll go directly they will do for you everything and some of the websites here i will give you they will tell you if you have a job for example you found a job in mario they're like okay you found a job all right let us file for you sponsorship for j1 okay understand what j1 means understand what it means and you cannot change that visa unless they waive you you have to apply for a waiver they will not change it you have to apply for a waiver otherwise you will have to go back home okay all right janet tell me management of the hotel i seriously need a job there i will post the links trust me my friends whatever i'm telling you here i never lie how many of you have known me for how long okay leave alone the people that come here like the one that started to mess us up the real people that follow me that have a good heart and they are here to make a difference when i tell you i'll post something i usually post so i'll post the links again up here janetrangi.com okay facebook youtube thank you for always following and subscribing remember to keep the dream alive and have a strong desire to succeed that is how we push you over the edge that is how we will make you the best you stand you fall you stand you fall you never give up my friends because you know what you're the best thank you so much for coming i can't wait to see you janet how much could they ask for filing good good question i don't know but let's find out okay all right welcome said no janet you are very honest thank you so much okay esther is saying what i was on j1 visa i went to american hospitality academy wow okay did you go back home thank you so much okay jacqueline is like link please great work okay okay well many of you check the elevator engineers okay all right i'm a hotelier for 15 years yes martin you have a chance okay please more details on the organization i need a hotel job good good this is your video thanks for the information thank you i need a job yes this is good information many people don't take advantage of this visa and for me i don't talk about it a lot because i know people want to come here mostly permanently but you know what i said even if i was to go home after i work and get some money and build i give myself a plot and have my own house you are step ahead you see the money you get however little it is you're sending your family you're you're, you're paying fees for your children you're paying fees for 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 your family members instead of being jobless you understand my friends you know that that's all that's what that's, that's why sometimes i'm surprised when people hate such information is it because you just have a dark heart like i've never understood these people who watch me and they go with a dark heart like why don't you start your own page and have your opinions i've never understood that like okay <laughs> what's the problem i mean what's the let people have jobs let mothers have their children succeed for heaven's sake let their children do medicine nursing let their children do engineering okay let people come on green cards let the kids find scholarships really like what's wrong with that i i, I don't understand that like guys guys okay success comes with good heart okay success and anytime you don't have a good heart it's a reflection of what's going on in your own heart because the reason you are not making it is because you've not cleaned your own okay please clean your own house and more opportunities will come to you okay more opportunities will come to you if you show more love uh, there's just no point and i think if you are contributing to society then you have a say if you are not probably you have no no okay so i mean that this is one of those days even janet sometimes reaches a point where she can't take it anymore like it's too much sometimes like what, what what's wrong with you you know that is you have to have a really kind of dark heart huh this one last time we chased away we <laughs> it was like an evil spirit like really what difference are you making what job have you given someone do you have a plan for joblessness you have a plan for scholarships are you do you 
And if you do, then thank you. We love you for that. But do you have a plan for someone getting a scholarship? Eh? Do you have a plan for people to get admissions if they miss to get admission? Do you know some schools back home? Okay. Do you know some people love medicine and they will never get opportunities because their countries cannot have enough opportunities? Did you know that? Did you know that they just don't have opportunities or they don't take someone with a B minus? Did you know that? And Janet is here to tell you that is not the end. You come to America and you do medicine. Do you understand? Okay. Do you know there are places where people have a C and they will never see the school of engineering because they were young? Or maybe their father died when they were only 15 and they could not uh, focus on education. But now they've learned their lessons. They are ready to work hard. But because of that, they will never get that chance back home. Do you know why they come to America? To become engineers and pilots. Did you know that? And are you telling them that? Do you know that? Huh? Do you know how many children here, their mothers call me because they have gotten scholarships? You are, Do you know? Do you know what that means to that family? Huh? Do you understand what that is the impact? Do you know how many followers have sent money home? People are having weddings and funerals. And now they can count on my followers to send a hundred dollars when they were jobless. Do you understand? Do you understand the impact or you are just playing around with your big mouth? Please understand. And you know, our culture, we are going to change. We are going to be happy for success. And we are going to work on things that improve people. That is what successful nations have done. If someone is a billionaire, people are happy for them. You don't go feeling bad. Ask why they are billionaires. Ask why they are millionaires. Co complete change of looking at life. Okay, when you succeed, I succeed. Okay, that is just bottom line. So have that mindset of before you open your mouth, what difference have you made? Okay, did you go to the hospital today and clean a wound? Okay, if you did, then good. It's the same thing I'm doing here, okay? Did you go and help a disabled child who cannot see, okay? Did you give them a scholarship because they are blind? Did you show them the school for the blind so they can, they can have a future? Understand, my friends. Don't come here with your dark heart, not understanding the impact. Do you know how many youths are jobless on the streets? If you, two people can get a job, that is a plus. For that family and that is a plus for the community we have to change the mindset okay we have to change the mindset and look at every little step don't expect millions of things to happen regular people can make a difference i'm telling you regular people can make a difference so embrace that okay if i was here i can i can and don't wait for big people to make a difference you 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 can make a difference you Okay, you as one person can make a difference. All right, and this is something I'm willing to challenge. I, I can drop big names now. I know big names right now that sponsor kids. Millionaires in America that give scholarships. You know how many scholarships they give? Maybe 50. Do you know what it means to change someone's mind and give them education? That will translate to 10,000 scholarships. And that is the difference, my friends. And I'm not afraid to even challenge big people. You know, just like, I'm just saying, don't wait for a millionaire to come give you a scholarship and you think that is an impact. Yes, we appreciate that they gave five people a scholarship. How about when we empower you? When we empower millions to know what is going on? When we empower people to know what the world knows? Then they can do these things themselves. Then they will apply for these scholarships themselves. Not in the hundreds, in the thousands. So you tell me which one is more powerful. A millionaire dishing out or someone who will teach you how to fish so you can get your own fish. Okay? All right. I mean, I just had to put in this video. So because there are many people who are starting to follow me and we need to understand the bottom line. The bottom line is to see a problem and the bottom line is to solve the problem in a small way. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be big. It can start small. Start small, go big. And the impact does not have to be in two months. The impact can happen in 10 years. I can do this job for 10, 20 years. If God gives me life, I can do it. And let's see the stories that will come out. 
If you think the change is coming from other people, no, it's waiting for you. We need to change that mindset. It's coming from us. Even if I look like you, I look regular, yes, I can make a difference, okay? Start understanding. I've come here. I have learned how they do things and I'm willing to give and change the mindset because this is how they succeed. They just happen to have thousands and millions of me. Okay? That is just how it, that is how it works. So if we understand that part, we're going to start making a difference in whichever field we have. Okay? In whichever field we have. Even if I'm going to the hospital and changing a wound, that is a big difference. That you enjoy that, you're making a difference. Okay? All right. Okay, my friends, this is just one of the venting videos. I already did my emblem. Betty, yes, I already done. Betty, I'm done with this. Okay? So that I've vented. I've, it's good for me to vent. You know? By the way, did you know Janet does psychiatry? Okay? Sometimes, it's good when you hold something too long, it can be to your detriment. Okay? Sometimes it's good to vent. Let it come out. Okay? It's Let it come out. When it comes out, then you start the process of healing and cooling down. Okay? I've never vented for like three, four years. I've never vented. Okay? I just take the beating. I take the beating. I take the beating. I take the beating. But at some point, you have to put your ground. Okay? Put a red line. Like enough is enough. I'm not taking off this, but I'm not stopping. Okay? I'm not going to stop. All right? I'm not going to stop. If that is your, I'm not stopping. Okay, let's, that's bottom line. I'm not stopping. Okay? All right. Thank you so much for coming. I can't wait to see you in the next video, my friends. J1 Visa, today I came. I might do this video again. Okay? I might do it again so that we, we start familiarizing ourselves. There's even another one called M1 Visa, which I don't think many people take advantage of. I'll talk about M1 Visa. M1 Visa is just like student visa, except it's a certificate program okay all right albert love you back all the way from poland thank you so much for coming eugenia thank you so much for coming all right who else i'm trying to see i'm trying to see their names okay okay all right sissy says i do that video again i'll keep doing because this is very complex information some people because you've done it it looks easy okay sophie blessings our queen that's a big name. sophie how are you so I think Sophie, let me tell you, Sophie could be one of my, all of you are good support. All of you are support. That one, that one, I'm telling you, <laughs> she's, I'm telling you, she's up there. Always. Judy, thank you. Jacqueline, Flozy, thank you so much. Jax, all of you, okay? We love you back. I love you back, my friends, okay? All right. Today I took my time to vent, Okay? All right. I like Joki. She's like, any opportunities in Poland? Remember, people, I come on this page. I say, if you see someone saying something like that, you go down here and you ask, Joseph, did you go back home? Oh, where are you? Okay. I'm new and you're such a blessing. Lawrence, you're very welcome. Lawrence, very, very well. All the new members, welcome on this page. Okay. All the new members, bring your friends. Okay. Bring, bring, bring your friends. We want to grow. The reason we grow is the message goes bigger. The message goes bigger. Okay? Okay. The message goes from Nigeria. Thank you for coming. Okay. Okay. Charges for everything has charges. Application fees, just like the embassy. Okay. Olympia, thank you so much. Okay. Where are you guys from? Let me see. From New York. Ref is tuned from New York. There was a student of mine who got a visa and went to New York and I forgot her contacts. Where are you? Please reach out to me so I know you're okay. She had a visa. She said, Janet, I don't know where I'm going to start. I said, make sure you join Facebook groups. Go to a church close to you. Go to, you know, find communities that are close to you. Please, please, please. And I've never known where she went. I hope she's doing okay. Please reach out and tell me you're okay. There are those people that when they talk to you and you never reach back, you're just like, Lord. I hope one day I will hear back from them. You know, just to know that, hey, Lucy, new member, welcome. Okay, thank you so much, Daniel. Oh, okay, Joseph, all right. You're okay, good. Okay, Nuru is from London. Okay, okay, guys, Mumbi is a top fan. 
Okay, from Ghana, how are you? Okay, from Nairobi. From Zim. Zimbabwe, I'm assuming. Okay, Mika is from Kenya. Yeah, yeah. I have just come. I would like to know from start. Harriet, thank you so much. Don't worry, okay? Lily is following from Zambia. Uribuanji. Okupita Kuti. Okay. Nairobi from Dubai. Huh? Do they have housekeeping job? Okay. Start this video all over again. Uh -huh. How about apply for visiting visa? What precautions should I take to ensure you? Watch Janet Rangi Embassy videos. Okay. Okay, so going too fast. Good life from Maryland. Thank you for following Helen from Nairobi, from Ghana. Derek is watching. Huh? Peter is like, great job. Okay? All right, good, good. It looks like most of them are good followers today. Good follow. We don't mind uh, criticism. It has to be constructive criticism, you know? From KU, I came. I came to your university. I went to the radio station. Uh-huh. Some of them come the first time before they know what is going on. They just make comments. And then they go there. They see Janet with Jeff Koinange. They say, oh my God, I didn't know who she is. That's why it's always good to take, take your time before you make comments. From Nigeria in Ivory Coast, Martin, good luck. Okay, I have a bachelor's degree in security. Okay, we are just talking about how to get here. Okay, Millicent is like I'm new. Oh, many new members. Many, 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 many. Okay, you have a lot of catching up. One video is not enough. Like, we have hundreds and hundreds of videos. Janetranky.com. I'm going to start refining them. Okay? I told you she will mention me. How? Wow. Okay, good. Shiro, where are you? Nairobi, Natasha, Poland, Warsaw. Wow. I used to hear that in history. Dar es Salaam is watching. Okay, good. Sarah, I love you so much. Okay? All right. Nancy. Okay. Okay, and Nancy is asking someone from North Dakota, Queenie. Oh, wow, nice. Okay. Guys, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, new member, Cyprian, you're welcome. And someone is following from Seattle. Kathy is following. Ruth is a top fan. How, oh, what about aviation? I always tell people they have everything here except the safaris. Even the safaris are probably in Disneyland. I'm new here from Ghana. Welcome. Okay, all of you welcome. Sorry for the new ones. We don't usually vent like this. Even my own followers are surprised that Janet was venting. That Janet, ignore, ignore. Welcome, okay? If you're here for the first time, the videos don't look like this. They will be very, very informative, okay? Keep watching, keep coming. Okay, you are watching for the first time, Lucia. Okay, now I'm not here daily. I used to do three videos per week. I've been getting too busy. These days I do one or two per week. Okay, but my goal is to go back to where I used to do three times. But I realize if I wait one video, people look forward and they more participate more. Okay, or a technology IT a lot. Okay, people get H1B visa. I'll come and do H1B visa here for all of you information technology. Malawi again, Uribuanji. Okay, okay, watching from Kenya. Bibi is here. Thank you so much. Okay, H1B visa is next. I've not done a video. I, I always mention H1B as a way to pathway to green card, but I've never come and just explained to you what H1B is. The way I did J1 visa today, and this was a long video. I'll do the J1 visa again. I'm going to do J1 visa on YouTube, succinct, clean, to the point. Facebook we like because Facebook likes when we interact like this. They don't like just you doing a video and disappearing. They like when people are People participate, people talk, you know, that is just the platform. Every platform is different. If you see me on YouTube, I'm going to be trying to boom, boom. Sometimes I post my Facebook videos there too. Okay, the links. After I turn off this video, I'll go and do the links for you guys, okay? Yeah, I promised. Again, up here, you will see the links. All of them. The state department, the jobs, the sponsors, everything you need to do. Since I was denied, I gave up, but I'm back again. Yeah, you took a break. Welcome back. You stand, you fall. That's what Janet says every day. Mike from Malawi. Okay. All right. Tuned in from Meru County. Nice. Hey, Meru, do you know I met your governor? Not to show off, but when I was in Kenya, I met the Meru governor. We shook hands in one of the Silver Spring hotels. There's one on... Yeah, I was, I was there. Yeah. Talk about H1, H2 visa. Okay. Okay. I can talk about that. 
Ah, sunshine. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go back to my regular videos on my table. I'm not liking these two bright lights in my face. Huh? 18. No children for links, I know. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting. Huh? I love you for always coming. Look out for the links, my friends. Please go dig, 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 dig. And one good thing I know from Cape Town, thank you. Huh? I know. The people will go and dig and they'll be here. Been doing this for a while. I know those people will go and they will look and they will look and they will come back with good results. In fact, as we are doing right now, I'm just looking at the links. Okay, I'm gonna post. That's a good question. Janet is my namesake. Are there jobs for 50 plus? By the way, there are no... J1 is kind of youngish people, but they generally... Age should not be a factor when you're applying for these things, okay? Yeah, all right. Anne, Anne and Jen, okay? Okay. And someone from Joburg. Anne and Jen, Jen, okay, bye. Jen, bye. Okay, nice time, Doreen. Okay, bye-bye. See you. Bye.